Hello everybody, my name is Rokuro, also known as Wadatoad. Today, I'm going to teach you how to animate R7. This is going to be a quick and simple tutorial. When you open Moon Animator, you'll be greeted with an R7 rank that you can simply rip out of the toolbox. Once you make a Moon file, you can tell that something's different compared to R6. There's a new component in the rig called Upper Torso. The rig has been split off between the legs and the upper half of the body, destroying that annoying leg placement problem that R6 has. With this feature, you now can animate the upper half of the body freely without having to bother with the leg placement until later. Now, you also might have noticed another thing called lower torso. The lower torso is basically the torso from R6, only just placed differently. The lower torso is going to be the location of your rig. So, like your axis, whatever. There's gonna be some rotation, but I'm gonna show you that later. Now there's two ways you can animate R7. In this clip here, I only animated the lower tor torso first without rotational stuff. That's like one of the first styles I've ever used on R7. So like you only animate the lower torso and then the upper half and then you just animate the rest. Here you can see that I only use it for rotation sometimes, but not all the time because it's only just, you know, for location. And I also forgot to mention earlier that the lower torso is going to be the base part of like your whole rig. Now here's the final product of my animation. Yes, I know, it's a bit weird or a bit off. Well, that's because I wasn't really trying to put all my effort onto it. I was just trying to make an example. Now the next animation style I'm going to show you requires a little something. And now it's called the Y keybind. So supposedly you want to make your character go right, right? Like, the sh like what I'm showing you in the clip. Well, it turns out you can't because the arrows are facing in the direction where the torso is facing. Well, you can press Y and it just makes it into the regular axis, which is actually pretty useful. In this style, you can only animate the lower torso, giving the original R6 factor. However, there is times where I adjust the upper body if it doesn't look right. Here's the finished animation. Yet again, it is rushed. However, I do want to compare R6 and R7 as I animate the next animation in the background. Let's start with R7. R7 contains a split between the rig's body, allowing you to animate the upper torso and the legs freely. However, sometimes it can be confusing, and it will take more time to animate because it's more advanced than R6. On the other hand, R6 is really simple and easy to use. It doesn't have any bad issues except for one being the legs placement problem. But it's not as bad as you think. Just use the onion skin and it will take balls technique if you want. I will link my vid for it down below. Anyways, that's a wrap for today's video. I, I hope this helps with some animators to learn this rig a bit better and help them improve on their animations. Thank y'all guys for AK subs. Really appreciate it. I'm trying to reach 10k by the end of the month, so if you can, drop us up. Anyways, peace!